breaking news. For more than seven hours, crews have been battling a massive fire at the New England Casket Company in East Boston. The flames have ripped through the building while jet black smoke filled the surrounding neighborhoods. At this hour, firefighters are still working to put out some of the hot spots. Good evening to you. I'm David Wade. I'm Lisa Hughes. That smoke was so thick and potentially toxic that firefighters evacuated an entire neighborhood. Lisa Greshi is live in East Boston. Lisa, seven hours and it's still smoldering. Lisa, David, firefighters are still here chasing hot spots all while neighbors are starting to realize this may take all night. And you can still see the, see the flames now. It's like, wow, if it's been a couple hours and the flames are still there. So this is intense. This is, this is real. This is legit. Eight hours and nine alarms later, firefighters still up against the flames and smoke ripping through New England Casket Company on Bennington Street. For Mayor Marty Walsh, this marks a first. This is, for me, the biggest fire that I've seen as the mayor of the city. The massive fire came with challenges of the same magnitude. Yeah, it's a lot of smoke, a lot of smoke. Thick black smoke poured directly into the neighborhood. Our concern now is there's a bunch of chemicals in the building uh, that are used as lacquers and thinners and things like that. While the water and water pressure firefighters needed wasn't quite there. We're down in the kind of lowlands here, if you will. That's where the pressure has a problem. Certainly something that we will look at now that, that we know it. All of the workers made it out of the building, and it's believed the fire started in the roof where the vent for the furnace comes through. One Boston police officer had to be treated for smoke inhalation from when he was helping people evacuate. One thing seeing it on the news and another thing being like, oh, I drive by here every single day and I live right up there. And now Commissioner Finn says the building did have a sprinkler system, but the fire started above that system because it started in the roof. No word yet on a cause or how long this will take. Reporting live here in East Boston tonight, Lisa Greshi, WBC News.